Hi, in this lesson, we would like to uh, see what is the uh, short circuit analysis, what are the types of the faults in power system, and what are the causes of the short circuit. And uh, in the end, we are going to do the short circuit analysis on the system which we had before. So why doing the short circuit analysis? Number one, in order to select the switch gear equipments, such as circuit breakers, fuses, isolators, which is used, of course, in switching action and protection uh, equipment. And of course, we need to select our uh, equipment in order to withstand the short circuit, either a three phase short circuit or a single line to ground or whatever it is. But usually we have to, uh, use the insulation or prepare insulation for the equipment to withstand the uh, short circuit and the uh, voltage uh, surges okay so uh, another thing we would like to adjust the relay settings which is used to detect the current inside the assist the power system so in order to uh, be able to uh, distinguish between the full load current and the fault current Okay, so we would like to, we do the load flow analysis to know the amount of current flowing to our, through our power system and short circuit analysis in order to know the uh, amount of fault current in our system. Another thing, we use the short circuit analysis in stability studies of the power system. Okay, now what are the types of the faults in power system? We have the three line to ground or three phase to ground fault what does this mean it means that the three phase are connected together with the ground okay so the three phases are connected together with the ground another fault is called line to line to line or the three phase fault okay the three phases are connected together without the ground Another type of fault is line to line fault, which means one phase with another. For example, A with B, or B with C, or A with C. Again, two phases only, okay, without the ground. We have another one which is called line to line to ground. The two lines with a ground. Uh, for example, here, this phase with this phase and the ground. They are all connected to together. Another one is called the line to ground or line to ground fault, LG. It means that one of the phases connected with the ground. Okay, so uh, the line to line to ground, the three phases with the ground is called a symmetrical fault. The other types of the, fa the uh, fault is like line to line, line to line to ground are called uh, unsymmetrical faults. Okay, because they only contain two or one phase. So what are the causes of the uh, previous faults in the power system? We can have an insulation failure of cables, underground cables, for example, or the equipment itself. So the insulation failure, which insulates between uh, different uh, phases, for example, phase A and phase B, the insulation failure will cause these two phases to be connected together. So we will have a fault or one of the phases will be connected with the ground. Another one is temporary fault as phase to phase due to the uh, wind or tree. Okay, due to the wind, these two phases will move. For example, in transmission lines, they will move and touch each other. So this will be temporary fault, but it will have an effect in our power system. Another one is the cutting of transmission line or distribution lines. When they are cut, they will connect with the ground and causing, of course, faults in the power system. Another one is the flash over on the transmission line by lightning strikes. Okay, so this will cause the uh, phase to be connected with the ground or even causing line-to-line -line, uh, faults or line-to-line -to, -line to ground faults. Now, let's go to the ETA program in order to do the short circuit analysis. So now we opened the ETA program. 
So in order to go to the short circuit analysis, you will see that this small strike or lightning strike called short circuit analysis. Click on it. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? We would like to uh, do a short circuit. So this short circuit will happen on one of the buses. Okay. This bus or this bus or this bus. Okay. So, um, how can I do a fault on any of these buses? First, you can, for example, select this bus and right click like this and click on fault. So we'll see that this bus becomes a red one. What does this mean? It means that this bus have a fault now. Okay, what is the type of the fault? We don't know yet. How can we know the fault? We have to do the fault from the uh, right side toolbar here. You will see that here, the first one option according to the IEC standard. We are using now the IEC standard. Okay, now you will see that this one is called run three phase device duty IEC 6909. Okay, what does this do? This will do a three phase to the ground fault. It's, you will see that three phases connected to together with the ground. So it is a, a symmetrical fault or a three phase with the ground fault. Where it is going to happen, it will happen on this bus bar because it is in red and we made a fault on it. So click on here, one click and name the output file. For example, short circuit one. Okay. Now what happens? You will see here the voltages at each of these buses. Okay, and you will find here the uh, current flowing. This one current here, current here. And you will find here that the generator here is producing an 0.758 uh, kilo ampere. So how can I know the unit here? Simply go to the display options as before. Then you will see that the voltage unit kilovolt here in kilovolt. The fault current, we can choose a three phase or the symmetrical RMS value or the big value of the current. I am choosing the symmetrical value of the current. Now tick the show units, then click on OK. You will see that here. Now it is obvious that these values are for the current. So this generator will contribute with 0.758 kilo ampere. And even this loads will provide a current. Why? Because a uh, part of it is dynamic or having an induction machine. Okay, so during the uh, short circuit, you will find that the motors will act as a generator. Sometimes it have a stored energy, so it will uh, provide it again to the grid in the form of uh, as if it is a generator. Okay. So now we see that the value of the current coming from in and current coming from here and the value of the current itself. Okay. Now another way in order to uh, select the buses. For example, if I would like to uh, make several buses uh, faulted instead of just right click everywhere, you can go here to the uh, edit study case. Okay. And you will see that here, the bus selection, the faulted buses. Okay. So for example, you can choose this one as uh, don't fault. For example, bus three out, bus two in, bus four out. For example, I would like a fault on bus number two. Okay. This bus. Okay. Then uh, you can click on. Okay. So this bus is only faulted. Now we can try another one, which is this one. This one is called run line to ground, line to line, line to line to ground, three phase faults. So here this one do the line to ground, line to line to line, uh, two phase or two phase with the ground and three phase faults. It provides all of the different phases. Okay, so now we made the fault here. Let's make sure in on bus number two, bus number two, this bus. Okay. So let's click on run. Okay. You will see that here, this is the uh, values obtained from 
uh, the line to ground, line to line, line to line to ground, or the three phase uh, faults. So you will see that here we have a different uh, values, okay, for the currents and its own degree. You will see that values here and another value here. So in order to identify what are these values, we can simply uh, use the report. Okay, for example, I would like a report for the short circuit. Okay, and click here. So here we have the uh, short circuit for short circuit report for bus number two and having a nominal kilovolt of 110. Okay, now uh, let's see bus number two, the three phase fault, the line to ground fault and the uh, positive and zero sequence impedance uh, according to each of the bus according to looking from each bus okay you will find that the r1 x1 r, r0 and x0 for the zero sequence and positive sequence are calculated according to the bus you will see that here we made a three phase fault okay so we'll find here that the uh, bus voltage dropped it to zero because we are doing a, a short circuit, three phase uh, short circuit at this bus. And the uh, ampere is 4.58 kilo ampere from bus number two. You will see that bus number one uh, is providing this uh, amount of kilo ampere. Bus number three is providing this amount of kilo ampere and the other buses. Okay. Now you will see that here the voltage percentage. Okay, here the voltage dropped to zero at bus number two because we had a three phase to the ground. Now looking at line to ground, okay, a single phase to the ground. For uh, the program here, for bus number two, it made phase number A short circuit with the ground or line to ground for phase number A. That's why phase number A have a zero voltage. The other two is still there, okay? And the current IA, which is, since this one, or phase number A is the one which is short circuit with the ground, you will find here 4.016. This is the amount of ampere uh, from bus number two to the ground. And you will find the other values or the contribution of other bus bars. So this is a simple report uh, in which we made a study case. You will find here also a run transient short circuit. This is about IEC 61363. Okay, another thing you will find that here we are working with the IEC standard. Okay, in another standard which is the NC, you will find something different. You will find here a three phase. Okay, but you will find here another thing which is number one, uh, performing a line to ground, this one line to ground, line to line, line to line to ground uh, at uh, different conditions. One at a uh, half cycle, another one at a four cycles, another one at a 30 cycles. Okay. So uh, of course, since we are uh, now working in ETAB with this standard, with the IEC standard, you will find that here, this is the values which appeared. Okay, this is the options which we have. You will find here also another two options which we will discuss later. The IEC arc flash and IEC arc flash insertion calculation. So we are going to discuss them in the arc flash uh, later in the course. So this was a simple video which uh, shows you how to do the short circuit analysis in ETAB program.